Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well and welcome back to uh, the next episode of the Burgundian Conquest in EU4. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support up until this point. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell and uh, leave a like if you are enjoying because it lets me know that you're enjoying it. But let's uh, get back into it. So I'm thinking we're probably going to start annexing this guy. He's got one more core over here, but um, I can just take it on my own. It's not a big deal. As far as dismantling the French... We could attack him right now. Austria would help, but Castile would not because of debt. Maybe we actually... I don't think I can do this if he's scootaged. But he's got regular conquest as well. What's my... I have like very... Oh yeah, I have pretty high aggressive expansion. Mm. So I'm not really sure what to do with this one. Because we want to attack him ASAP. Honestly... I would like to get into the HRE, but uh, yeah, we're way too big for that. The very least, I would like to reconquest and beat up on him. Provence won't join. It's a bummer that Castile won't, but I think we could. We should probably be able to uh, win that pretty handedly. So hopefully these forts were at least on partially. Yeah, 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 we're good. So I have our value cannon. I actually need to just sit back here and play it safe for a moment. We have a choose of these guys up until 04. Yeah, those poor guys are dead. So, let's take Spartan over here. He's got the two siege pips. I think it's worth it. Let's uh, come on in here and wipe out that little three stack there. So, they're marching past that fort. Hmm. Not sure about that one. They're standing there with a lot of men taking attrition. This is risky having Spartan lead this, because Spartan is also quite a good, uh, quite a good uh, monarch. The three siege is too good. The Burgundians know nothing about running a state, says the English. You'll pay for that, mate. So we're just gonna wait it out. Once we he loses Paris, honestly, it's all downhill for him. Uh, it's just gonna be a matter of dismantling him. And then eventually we'll just vassalize him. It probably in, you know, a Vichy France sort of deal. Let's take these. We'll get them for a few years. Uh, where am I at here? Save a little bit of cash, right? Nothing wrong with that. So, they have no cannons, but they have a three siege general. Very good. So that's pretty good. I'd like to see that happen. Rugen, are you a pirate? Please tell me he's a pirate. Yes! Rugen, the Pirate Republic. You love to see it happen. Oh, come on now. Then we're gonna head on over and peace out Burgundy. Or, not Burgundy. We're Burgundy. Brittany. ASAP. The Sack of Paris. You love to do it. Screw you guys. So our... Okay. We're looking pretty good here. They sensed that I was coming, and so they ran away. We are pleased. Very good. And the French are on Vienna. All right, actually the Scottish are also over there. Well, that's pretty funny. Must force them to pay for bourgeois. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine, actually. Get rid of that uh, discrepancy in our tech. Pretty good. These guys have no general, so let's just get on over here and see if we can catch them. Ideally, oh, they have so many men over here, though. Like, that's an issue. I can't fight those guys one-to-one. -one. Venice no longer is a valid rival. Ah, I should have uh, embargoed France before. Yikes. Yeah, this is bad. Loyal to the Papal States, so let's do that. Big yikes. Who wants out? East Phrygia wants out. Actually tempted to like. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, we'll take your trade power then. Oh, humiliate. No, no, no. What am I doing? East Phrygia. Give me your trade power and your money. There you go, buddy. That's all I wanted. Oh, he was thinking about breaking off the siege. What I'd like to do... Oh. 
14%. They didn't take it. The Austrians are coming. Come on, Austrians. I can't let them take that 21% chance. Oh, it looks like we are handedly winning the fight anyways. Oh yeah, we got a superior general. We got our king in here. Our duke, rather. He's only a 1-3, but they got a 2-1. 2-0, so. I think the extra prestige is more useful. Help us out with a little bit of extra morale. Oh my gosh, we stack wiped them. Oh. Well, how about that? <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll let Austria see just up back. That's fine. That feels really good, man. I did not expect it, so. I am happy with that. Let's get these guys out of here. Manpower is not an issue at all. We're literally gaining 450 manpower a month. Crazy, dude. Austria is sieging down a ton of his forts, though, which is super nice for us. So they're going to siege down Liege. Man, I don't want Pope Man to hate me. What is this? Uh, actually... Who is Papal Controller? He is. So he doesn't border me, so he probably won't excommunicate me. We'll see. I'm going to improve with him and try to top off. Let's head on in there, try to avoid a little bit of the attrition. Get you guys right there. Peace out, Liege. Brittany is also being sieged down currently. I'd like to, you know, conquest Liege, but I don't have claims on any of it, sadly. So let's see here. I'm going to give this one to Champagne and this one to Champagne as well. So let's see. Can we do that three? <sighs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aggressive expansion is so punishing. And they've got a big chunk of men on Vienna again, sadly. We'll see what we can do here. Let's get some a little more fitting music, huh? Let's go for the Land of Sovereignty. I'm not sure if I would recognize this one. It's definitely time for war. Shout out Camille. If you guys ever want to support Camille, the guy who makes this music, make sure you check out his website. It's linked below in the description at the bottom. So Liege. There we go. And France is basically full occupied now. Wow. And they're not even close to sieging this down, so this is good. So let's head on over. Get you guys over there, and get you guys over there. And we're up popular with the with the Pope Man again, so it's good. French pretender rebels, huh? Simone. Wipe those guys out with their low morale. There we go. We'll just peace, peace Brittany out. I'm not really too, too concerned about actually winning any sieges over here. Mostly just want them out. I haven't had a single one of my provinces occupied in this war. This has been such a handed victory. Can I actually take anything? Oh yeah, we can. What the heck? There we go. Take a few ducats. I do have the transfer of vassals at half cost. I'm curious. See, I'd rather not lose that fort. That's farmlands as well. Hmm. Let's just carpet siege him down. Make sure he's full occupied. We'll see what we can do here. Oh, right. We're black flagged. So let's get unblack flagged over here. I think I have to get these pretender rebels out of there, man. Luckily, we definitely flanked them. There we go. As soon as we win this fort down here. Something like this sounds good. And uh, they're off Vienna now, which is good. Um, hmm. I'm not so sure. Do we take the idea? Or do we rush tech? I think we take the idea. Makes it cheaper for tech, plus we earn a bit more money while. Wow. 
give that all to him, make him pay for it. Something like this. Oh, is this the land of Admiralty? Yeah, baby. Where's it at? This is my favorite. Oh, themes of the old world. This is actually the the theme of it. Such a great music pack. I didn't use it for a while, so if anybody noticed, it's because I was getting copyright claimed and I had to actually reach out to the the uh, the author, who very kindly allowed me to uh, get a uh, get whitelisted so I could use it myself. For the purposes of the, the mod, of course. Where are those rebels at? Oh, yikes. Yeah, we gotta get up there and handle those. Hopefully we win this siege here. There we go. Let's get up there. So... That's basically over. Um, 71 AE. So, returning that province. So, this is 23 AE. This is doable. And that would give us these three provinces here. Does he have cores anywhere? He's got two cores. He's got cores on Britain as well. Am I looking at this right? Yeah, very good. Can I also have him return the cores after... Nah. I think I'm going to do that, honestly. And, uh... This is super good. No coalition. Lots of money. Humiliate for large PP. Oh, gosh. And we got these guys as a vassal. It's a bummer <laughs> because we are so far over our Diplo limit. But now we can scootage uh, Champagne here because we are going to start the annexation process on him. These guys we're just going to improve relations with eventually. Let's get you guys over there. Let's improve with them. Eventually. And we get a... Denmark. I guess. I don't know. Denmark doesn't sound right, though, because there's no really, not really any reason to Denmark. I guess we do Denmark. And then I can... Um, Embargo him. Uh, we don't need a royal marry you. My, my um, legitimacy is already low enough. So issue the embargo for even bigger PP. And we probably should start to make a more of an attempt to consolidate the trade power over here. So in the next war with these guys, we'll be able to take these two and this one for basically free. Uh, and then the next war with France, we'll be able to give him both of these for free as well. So this one is Dauphine, and then this is Toulouse. So I could also take and release Gascony as well now. Gascony is mega powerful. And then eventually we just vassalize France, and then we'll come back later on down the line and vassalize him. So no way. That is so disappointing, man. Where's my force limit at? Alright, we can build eight more. Is that what this says? Eight more. Is that six, seven, eight. There we go. I hope he doesn't take that fort. It's gonna bother me. Right, so let's upgrade that as well. More money is good. We should probably, the issue is, so, and to those who had mentioned the uh, Burgundian inheritance, I'm aware of the event. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that I did. <laughs> I don't know about the event. I'm aware about the event. Um, it's more about, it may or may not happen because we have our, you know, we have our people sorted out. So... I don't think I can win this, though. Yeah, this is really sad. Alright, well, they're gonna go in and lose that fight, but they're getting reinforced, so there we go. We won that one. Yikes. 
<laughs> and we'll go up up here and wipe those guys out the rest of the way. Wait, really? They broke free? Are you kidding me? Nah, screw you, man. That's infuriating. That's wild. Didn't expect that to happen. So now I have access, though. So maybe that was all part of the plan, though I feel like I'm actually going to get a decent bit of AE for this. Oh, only nine. That's doable. All right, let's just speed five for a moment. Big yikes. That resets the timer on that, though. Let's just drill these guys over here. You do hate to see that happen, though. All right, so we are ahead, so let's take this modifier. We're now very rich. Castile has declared war on France. For Ban. Is that how that's pronounced? Ban? Bien? I don't know how to say I, I can't speak French. Pomerania and Cleves. I'll go for a PU on Pomerania. I don't want Diplo points, honestly. So our next thing, this is one I generally go with. I'm a big fan of burger loyalty as well as uh, advisor cost. Is that fort there? Did they build that fort there? There we go. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool. Go, everybody siege, everybody siege. So let's get these guys down here. They should be good. Don't want, yeah, yeah, yeah we're good. As long as they're drilling with the uh, correct general. There is an issue of trade though. We have like no trade up here. And we could be collecting a lot more if we wanted to. So I'm going to build up to my force limit. There you go. Six. Five. I can't count. <laughs> so we're going to go up to that. And then we're still making a ton of money. Pomerania wants an alliance. I'm not going to do that. Oh, yeah. For sure. Prestige is good. Yeah, France is being dismantled. I hope he doesn't only takes that one province. It would be a shame if he took more. Because that means he'll have three cores of his. So he's getting claims over here as well. Not too bad. And we're just annexing him. So it's a good thing that our, uh, our Duke Spartan here is a six Diplo because... We're still making nine, even though we're four, o losing four, and we're four over our limit. Ah, yeah, yeah, he took both of them. That means he's got three cores of him. I may end up needing to attack him for that, honestly. Who are you rival to? Mammies and hungry. That's not helpful. More manpower, please. The drilling is super good for us as well. Five cab might be a bit overkill, but we'll stay with it. Colonialism has spawned, which gives us secure the succession. So I'm pretty sure at this point the uh, the Burgundian inheritance cannot happen. So this will give us chance of new air. Seed is strong, yes, of course. Imperial entrance. So this is the Burgundian. Oh, okay. So somebody had mentioned this. This it may be in my best interest to sour relations with Austria. We can come back to having him as a relation later on. It's gonna have negative relations of him. We're gonna click this. Ask the Emperor to join the HRE, and if he declines us, we get PU um, CB on all electors. So we'll see how that goes. And they're gonna vote on it. Ban their entry. This is good. We want this.
Because I'm not sure if the... Um, let me see here. Where is it at? Is it the Burgundian Inheritance? Yeah. As your subjects. Okay, so if we could push a PU on them, that would be perfect. So the issue is he's allied to him. So let's see here. Maybe. Uh, can't even ally or rival anybody else. So it looks like they're... It's hard to say. Can I see who, what Austria is voting for? So it looks like Austria is not supporting it. Let's take that. Maybe about that time. So Austria wants to be my ally again. We'll see. I'm taking a tiny bit of attrition over here. I don't think it's actually an issue. And our truce with these guys up soon. Oh, they brought us into the... Uh... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, it is what it is. So I joined the Empire. Get a bunch of permanent claims, so it'll make expanding in the Empire a bit easier. I was thinking... Maybe I should have scornfully insulted him. So now his opinion of me is super negative, though. So let's see here. Let's go back to boosting them. Oh, right. And we can also scornfully insult Denmark. So let's do that. Which will give me... Oh, what? Oh. Um. Who else you got? Bohemia? I'll scornfully insult Bohemia. So this will give me, does it say, is it 50? I think it's 50, yeah. 20? 25? 25. So we're just going to work on that and then... Uh, I want to have the Emperor be my friend at least until the last minute. There we go. So now he'll be my friend again. Having him be my friend is important. Um, so we could attack these guys. We have claims on it. France will help him. Orleans is uh, independent. I could attack him, and I will, because I think that might actually be... I don't know about actually conquering the land. Oh, low morale. Yeah, that was my bad. Wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure exactly. Um, oh, he's got rebels over here, of course. It would be nice to touch up his lands. <laughs> Let's get some inflation reduction. Uh, I think we wait on tech. Next papal controller, it was not us. So I think we take both of these techs now. That way we don't fall uh, get un uh, unbalanced research. Kind of annoying that he brought me into the... Oh, come on now. A general died as well. I was thinking he wouldn't bring us in, but it is what it is. So... If I vassalize him, I'm going to literally be five over my limit. Are we even going to get this? No. So, let's... um. Finish this war up. I think we just give this. Oh, I can't even give it to him. Well, what cores does he have still? None. That was all of his cores. He's got a one core up here, apparently. I can vassalize him for 140 Diplo. And it'll make a lot of people pretty mad, but it probably won't actually lead to a coalition. Hmm. It would be smart. It really would be. I should have went Diplo ideas, man. <laughs> the regret. Um.
I think we do this. I think I just have to improve some relations with some people. But I only have one diplomat, which is punishing. Let's see here. What's this gonna look like now? Mulhouse will get 30, Savoy will get 30. So let's improve with these guys. I think we're gonna wrap this war up in the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Share your support, leave a like, and subscribe, and ding the bell. It'll send you notifications when we upload, and then if you want to uh, support the channel, we got a couple of ways to do it linked below. And uh, if you click the join button, you will immediately, it's like a Twitch membership only, a Twitch subscription only for YouTube. So all of those are really great ways to support us. And there's also a Discord if you want to check that out, linked in the description. That's all I got for you though. This is Chewy Shoot. I'll catch you guys later. Huge special thanks to Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Corbett, RJ Pilot, The Bitter Steel, Keith, Jonathan T.A.P., Salik, Mark Mensch, Devin Terhanika, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Nathan Albright, William Reed, Airborne Animal 7, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.